In the heart of South Africa, a legend was born, a warrior king whose name would echo through history, Shaka Zulu. His reign transformed a collection of scattered tribes into a formidable empire, the Zulu Kingdom. Shaka's story is one of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of power. But it's also a tale of resilience, cultural pride, and the enduring spirit of a people. Let's delve into the captivating story of Shaka Zulu and the rise of the Zulu Kingdom. Shaka Zulu was born around 1787 in the region that is now KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. He was the illegitimate son of Senzanga Kona, a Zulu chief, and Nandi, a woman of the Langani tribe. Shaka's early life was marked by hardship and exile. His mother was cast out by the Zulu tribe due to her unmarried status, and Shaka faced ridicule and persecution during his youth. Despite these challenges, Shaka demonstrated remarkable resilience and intelligence. He joined the military of Dingya Swayo, the leader of the Umthethwa Confederacy, where he quickly rose through the ranks due to his exceptional skills as a warrior and leader. When his father died, Shaka seized the opportunity to claim leadership of the Zulu tribe with the support of Dinga Swainio. Shaka's reign is best known for his revolutionary military tactics and organizational skills. He transformed the Zulu military from a loosely organized group into a highly disciplined and effective fighting force. One of Shaka's most significant innovations was the introduction of the Asagai, a short stabbing spear. Unlike the traditional long throwing spears, the Asagai was designed for close combat. This change revolutionized Zulu warfare, making their soldiers more effective in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Shaka also developed the famous bullhorn formation, a tactical maneuver that involved surrounding the enemy. The formation consisted of three parts, the chest, which engaged the enemy head-on, the horns, which flanked and encircled the enemy, and the loins, which acted as a reserve force. This strategy allowed the Zulu army to overwhelm larger and better equipped forces. Under Shaka's leadership, the Zulu warriors underwent rigorous training and discipline. He instituted a strict code of conduct and ensured that his soldiers were in peak physical condition. This discipline extended to all aspects of their lives, fostering a sense of unity and purpose within the Zulu military. With his newly organized and formidable army, Shaka embarked on a series of military campaigns to expand the Zulu kingdom. Through a combination of diplomacy and conquest, he brought many neighboring tribes under Zulu control. Shaka's campaigns were characterized by both fierce battles and strategic alliances. He conquered numerous tribes, incorporating them into the Zulu kingdom and increasing its power and influence. At the same time, he formed alliances with other powerful leaders, strengthening his position in securing the kingdom's borders. Shaka's expansionist policies contributed to the Mefikane, a period of widespread chaos and warfare in southern Africa. The displacement of tribes and the creation of new alliances led to significant social and political upheaval. While the Mfekano brought suffering and disruption, it also paved the way for the establishment of powerful states, including the Zulu Kingdom. Shaka was not only a brilliant military strategist, but also an effective leader and administrator. His reign brought about significant changes in the social and political structure of the Zulu Kingdom. Shaka centralized authority within the Zulu Kingdom, consolidating power in the hands of the king. He established a centralized administrative system with loyal chiefs overseeing various regions. This centralization allowed for more efficient governance and control over the expanding kingdom. Shaka implemented several social and cultural reforms to unify the Zulu people and strengthen the kingdom. He promoted the use of a common language and encouraged intermarriage between different tribes to foster a sense of Zulu identity. He also established new traditions and ceremonies reinforcing the cultural cohesion of his people. Shaka Zulu's reign had a profound impact on the Zulu kingdom and the wider region. His military and administrative innovations laid the foundation for a powerful and enduring state. The expansion of the Zulu kingdom under Shaka's leadership also brought economic development. The increased territory provided access to new resources and trade routes. Shaka encouraged agricultural production and trade, contributing to the prosperity of his kingdom. Shaka's legacy is one of unity and strength. He transformed a small and fragmented tribe into a powerful and cohesive kingdom. His emphasis on discipline, loyalty, and unity 
left a lasting mark on the Zulu people, shaping their identity and resilience. Despite his many achievements, Shaka's reign was not without controversy and challenges. His autocratic style and ruthless methods generated resentment and opposition. In 1828, Shaka was assassinated by his half-brothers, Dinganya and Muslangana, with the support of his trusted advisor, Mbopa. The assassination was motivated by a combination of personal ambition and political discontent. Shaka's death marked the end of an era, but his legacy continued to influence the Zulu Kingdom and Southern Africa. Shaka Zulu's legacy has been the subject of much debate among historians. Some view him as a hero who brought unity and strength to his people, while others see him as a tyrant whose methods were brutal and oppressive. Supporters of the heroic perspective argue that Shaka's achievements in unifying the Zulu people and creating a powerful state were remarkable. They highlight his military innovations, administrative reforms, and efforts to foster a sense of Zulu identity. According to this view, Shaka's leadership was visionary and transformative. Critics of Shaka focus on the brutality of his methods and the suffering caused by his conquests. They point to the harsh discipline imposed on his warriors, the destruction of rival tribes, and the social upheaval of the Memphikan. This perspective views Shaka as a ruthless autocrat whose reign was marked by violence on to unend oppression. Shaka Zulu's life and legacy have been depicted in numerous books, films, and television series. These portrayals often reflect contemporary attitudes towards his reign and the broader themes of leadership and power. Television series such as the acclaimed 1986 miniseries Shaka Zulu have brought Shaka's story to a global audience. These productions often dramatize his life, highlighting his military genius and the dramatic events of his reign. While such depictions sometimes take creative liberties, they help to keep Shaka's story alive and relevant. Shaka Zulu's impact on the history of Southern Africa is profound and enduring. Whether viewed as a hero or a tyrant, his legacy continues to shape our understanding of leadership, power, and the complexities of human history. By examining his life and the Zulu kingdom, we gain valuable insights into the dynamics of authority, the consequences of conquest, and the enduring struggle for unity and justice. As we reflect on Shaka's legacy, we are reminded of the importance of resilience, self-discipline, and the ethical dimensions of leadership. His story encourages us to consider the impact of our actions on future generations and to strive for a balance of strength and compassion in our own lives. Through this exploration, we not only learn about a pivotal historical figure, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the values that continue to shape our world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Zulu Kingdom of African history. We hope you have gained valuable insights into the rich history and heritage of the African king. Remember to subscribe and click the notification icon for future updates. Stay tuned for more episodes where we delve into critical issues found in African history and explore the fascinating history of our ancestors. Together, we can unlock the secrets of the past and build a brighter future for all.